Hey y'all, it's your girl Jocelyn, aka Joss Boss. And I say this every video. I'm sorry that I've been inconsistent on this platform, but I graduated university about three weeks ago. And I told myself that I just wanted to take the month to celebrate the holidays, but also just to reconnect with my friends and family. I guess rewind. In November, I was already kind of experiencing post-graduation depression. So it's whenever you're kind of having existential crises, questioning like, what do you want in life? Like, are you supposed to be on this timeline that, I don't know, that all of us apparently are supposed to be on, like after graduation, job, family, house, etc. I had that depression for a couple weeks, but then I came to this epiphany that, you know, like, why are we rushing to the next step? Like, where is this pressure coming from? And usually it comes from maybe culture, family, anything really. Maybe even social media. Social media makes us feel like we're having to compare our lives to others. But I completely just ignored all that. I was like, you know what? No. One of the promises I made to myself after graduating is doing the things I've been meaning to do. At least with school, it took a chunk of my brain. Like I obviously had to do assignments, meet deadlines. And so I couldn't pursue any of my passions really fully or I had to like half ass them because you know, you can only have so much time in the day and you get tired, you have to rest up too. So now that I have no school, I'm gonna take advantage of being debt free, ignoring any type of societal pressure and just going after what I want 100% and see where it leads to. I'm open to everything, any possibilities, not particularly married to one idea of myself. If you've been following my journey or you can see in my past videos, I never could pick a niche for my life or pick a one career for like the life of me. I kind of scrapped that mindset and was like, nah, like I have multiple passions. I am a well-rounded, multi-talented being. So why not just go after anything that I'm curious about and one of them exciting enough is acting. Over the Christmas break I did some research about acting classes here in Houston and I'm not really familiar with the film industry or the acting community here. Most of my background is in modeling, photography, more visual arts versus performing. So this is definitely, <coughs> sorry, it's not COVID. <laughs> but I'm just kind of excited to just dive in this new world to see where it takes me. I don't really have any expectations. It's just genuinely, I'm curious about this field. I think it could be fun. I wanna be challenged. Let's see how it goes. My first class is tonight, January, what's today's date? Yes, today's date is January 4th. I wanted to record and document my journey. A few hours later. Finally, five o'clock and the acting classes start at six. So kind of running a little bit late. I'm hoping there it's not too bad with the tools so I can be there like 10 minutes early because I really don't know where this is at besides it being in Katy. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited, kind of nervous, don't know what to expect. I was really contemplating on what I should wear for a minute, kind of goofed off, and then started asking myself, do I need a pencil for an acting class? But we are on our way. A few moments later. Currently five minutes until class starts. I forgot that Houston has sucky traffic. I swear whenever I'm in a rush, I catch every red light, but we are gonna get there. It's, I got five minutes and I'm not too sure if I can record in class, but I will, yeah, I'll try my best. I made it in time, I think. Okay, so I think I'm in the right building. I have to go to the second floor. A real celebrity delivering my figs? That way was a pig. And it is a doll. Who latch on this? What would I actually have to do to get you to sign this? Oh, you could have one in on TV and already an attitude. Okay, ew, the lighting in my room is trash. But I just finished my first 
acting class ever and I had so much fun and even in a short amount of time, which the class is only from six to nine, I learned so much and it put me in perspective of what actors go through. So I have this newfound appreciation for acting. I always knew it was hard putting myself in it. It really pushed me out of my usual zones. And I and I consider myself a challenger. Like I like to make myself uncomfortable. I don't know why not, like why not try something new? Since it was my first day in class, I didn't want to bring it into class or bring my camera into class because it's just awkward. But I guess to give you a quick run through, at the beginning of class, each of us had to speak in front of everyone for five straight minutes, no breaks. It was so funny because I basically told the class how I ended up in acting or wanting to pursue it. So kind of my whole life story. And at the end of it, it was so funny. The class had to give feedback. Like, what did you learn from her story? They literally called me crazy, <laughs> but not in a rude way. They called me crazy and chaotic. So love that for me, love that. After that, the coach gave us a script to kind of like read over and it was only a five liner. I'm learning these new terms that film people use. So bear with me because I'm probably gonna butcher them for a while because everything is so new. And then individually take turns in front of the camera reading them or like acting it. And surprisingly, I wasn't really nervous. I mean, luckily for me, I have experience in public speaking and also just being a model helped me with stage fright in a sense or putting myself out there and taking criticism. So I was pretty chill, but it was just fun. Like I genuinely didn't know that you have to put a lot of emotion in this and that you have to know the story inside out if you really want to do well. It was great. I absolutely loved it. I'm excited to go back next week and we'll see where this goes, but yay! Day one done. So yeah! Hey y'all, so it is week three of acting classes. Technically week two since last week, classes were canceled due to one of my classmates having COVID, which is okay because I ended up just staying home and researching, studying how to read and break down scripts. Since personally, I already know that's gonna be an area that I need to work on. But I'm excited to go back into in-person class this week. Just chilling right now in the Heights at a park snacking and reading a book until classes start at six. The Omega Power Spin is $4.99. The Dumpin' Imperial is $3.49. I'm Jocelyn Wynn. I'm 5'5". I'm fully vaccinated, independent, and I'm not a union. Uh, excuse me, do you have any cheap toys? How cheap? Real cheap. And it's got to be a great toy, and I need a lot of them. A couple hundred. I have money, but not a lot. Um, okay. How about we go with the classics? How about a yo-yo? Hey y'all, so I'm back home after acting class. It's currently 11, so it's been a couple hours. Today's class, it really humbled me. So today we just were given a script to memorize lines and then we had to, of course, recite or read the lines in front of a camera. But yeah, I was like put in my place because I learned that I am a half listener and I kind of knew this. I don't like to admit it, but whenever I was being recorded, you can just see in my eyes or just like on camera that I'm more focused on memorizing or I'm more worried about the words than actually just listening listening and reacting so I definitely have to work on that the video or the recording today is kind of just like I'm not happy with it but I mean it's my second time doing this so I will just keep that in mind and improve for next time other than that I feel like every single class I'm learning a lot again I'm new and I was told that acting or getting into acting is like figuring out a routine for the gym everyone has their own techniques and you just ease into it and have fun. So I'm gonna go with that. Just gotta take everything in and apply it. So, oh yeah, the other major thing that I learned today is figuring out an eye line. So that basically means if someone's reading the script to me and I'm like responding, there's more than one person, I have to find the spots to look at. If not, 
I look completely lost and you will see that in the recording but yeah there was like a part of my take where I'm like uh, uh. so <laughs> never have I ever had to make so much eye contact and be aware of my body language as much as I have until literally entering acting classes because there's just so many factors that go into it and i'm not used to it and then i also have to unlearn the stuff that i learned in modeling like don't look at the camera don't this is like certain etiquette on entering and exiting a room or audition i don't feel overwhelmed but everything is just so new that i'm like okay holy <laughs> like that's kind of embarrassing but i'm having fun and i'll i'll do better next time guys so it is week four of acting class Technically week three because we missed week two. I just hung out with Anna for lunch and got out of a meeting with Annie for Vivify. So I've had a busy day, but right now I'm heading towards IT classes right now. Uh, again, hopefully I'm gonna be there on time. So also I know I'm recording and driving, but please don't do this at home. So I just got back from acting class, not this vlog, just becoming me critiquing myself. But yeah, today we did a listening exercise where my coach, John, assigned people a partner. And then with your partner, you were told that you were a specific character or role. Without any background of the story, without seeing the script, we were just blindly given a script that we had to cold read. I was partnered with someone sitting in front of them, cold reading and being present and just solely listening. It was fine. I think it was fine. To be transparent, I know I have the habit of half listening to people. And that's just a big no-no in acting. Like you need to listen. That's just a part of the foundation of acting. But then afterwards we had to, you know, split up with our partner and just practice the script and also form some sort of like like background or story with it and i thought practicing was great i felt good during practice but then once we had to go in front of a camera to get filmed i'm i'm so embarrassed like literally i'm <laughs> it was so terrible it was so bad that i mean i didn't get the chance to record my self tape this class because john had to rush out uh but at the same time honestly it was my worst performance yet and i just yeah it's honestly not even worth watching but i don't know it's just whenever i'm in front of the camera i'm usually so used to being by myself like as a model i'm so used to like being by myself and doing the most like alone but with acting especially having another actor with me i don't know like i just completely i don't connect in the sense of like i don't make i'm not present in the conversation like i'm so worried about reading the script or reading the words i like keep like breaking contact with the person i'm talking to because i'm looking down and that looks so bad and I was also told that like I literally need to not do the most when I'm acting because it just looks corny and that sometimes I'm very sing-songy when I speak and that needs to not happen because it looks bad on camera and I guess I do that in real life in my head I think maybe it's funny I'm not too sure uh but doing it on camera it's just it just doesn't look good but in general, not my best day, not my best day, it's okay. Like I, I was late, like 10 minutes late. I definitely need to work on listening. That is my weakest, that is, that's my downfall, listening. Just try again and hopefully improve. This is my third or fourth time in front of a camera this way. So I can't expect to be perfect. It's a lot of unlearning, a lot of unlearning and a lot of being cautious of all these different factors that I, that my brain is just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like you're not like used to this. So. <clears throat> hey y'all. Tuk Mung Nemai or Happy Lunar New Year. Today is my fourth week of acting classes. And even though I've only been attending classes for about a month, I want to continue with them so that I can get better. And I genuinely want to give this a shot. So uh, this would probably be my last vlog for a while about acting classes. I'm about to head out to class right now so that I won't be late because last week I was late. And I'll update you on how tonight goes. Hey y'all, so it's currently Friday. 
I didn't get the chance to update y'all about how acting classes went this past Tuesday since I planned on meeting a mutual or someone that I've been meaning to hang out with uh, currently at the Canon. Uh, but I wanted to let y'all know how it went. All right, so for once during class or in class, I didn't feel like a complete failure. I thought this past class went really well, or I sensed a little improvement, especially with my listening. On Tuesday, so for about 80% of the class, we were doing a exercise to help with us acting with emotions and instead of just worrying about the words which i personally was having a problem with and for the first half of class we were practicing the miser technique i don't know if i pronounced that name right but what uh, john or my coach did was he paired us up so it's me and someone else and we were given like a sentence or a line to say to each other and that was the only thing that we could say to each other John told us to say, like, what do you mean? That's all we could say. So I have a partner, I'd be like, what do you mean? And you have to act or react based off like, you know, how, like their energy or, or their reaction that they're giving you. Doing that really helped me get out of my head in the sense of worrying about the words and just worry more about the emotion. That was really fun. Uh, the second round, we had to pick someone that we knew and had to act like them while saying the one line. So I ended up picking my brother because, you know, I know him. So I was acting like my brother, but saying the one-liner or the, the line. And that was fun too, because we didn't really tell the class like who we were until like the end of it. And then the rest of the class, he just gave us a script, a one-liner or like five words. It's, it was like, yeah, me too. We were supposed to act with three different like attitudes saying just that simple line. And of course, while we were being filmed, my coach told me that I did well in the beginning, like giving myself a moment before and a moment after, but I need to work on like making sure to slow down. Uh, Cause I feel like maybe whenever I'm in front of the camera, I get kind of like not scared, but yeah, like kind of like, oh my God, like nervous, anxious, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that was how this week's acting class went and I am renewing for another four weeks. Yeah, I'm really enjoying acting and thank y'all for watching the beginning of this journey for me or this new venture. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, I'll see you soon.